Hey everyone, this is Kiki from Metal and High Heels. We're here at Female Metal Event 2016 with Sirenia, with Morten and Emmanuel. Welcome. Thank you so much for your time. How are you doing today? Thank you. We're fine. Yeah. How's the weather nowadays in Norway? Is it like here? We have this uh, very hot uh, late summer. Actually, it is. It's uh, it's been extremely hot in in Norway to be in September. Mm -hmm. Usually, it's uh, the autumn that starts, and it starts getting kind of cold and and windy and rainy. And but uh, this year we had like 27 degrees and clear blue sky and sun, and mm -hmm. it's like something I've never seen before in this time of year, so it's actually a bit weird, but of course very nice. Yeah, that's climate change for you. <laughs> yeah, seems like the global warming is uh, coming or something like that. <laughs> so. Yeah, so Emmanuel, you're officially in the band as from two weeks ago, three weeks ago? Something like that, yeah. How, uh, <laughs> walk us a little bit, uh, if you can, walk us through the whole lineup change. It kind of uh, happened all pretty quickly with uh, June, uh, a concert cancellation, and then uh, you uh, sung at a festival already in June, and then um, uh, Eileen's leaving was uh, officialized, and uh, everything happened like pretty quickly in a few months. Uh, what was happening? Yeah, it happened very quick. Uh, there were some things in um, uh, Eileen's life that uh, made her, it um, difficult for her to uh, be able to uh, continue in Serenia in a, in, a, in, the, in a way that was needed. So uh, it's yeah, it became like a situation where it it was not possible to continue the, the cooperation. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, it's we were kind of expecting that this this situation would come at some certain point, but uh, okay. not this soon actually. And um, so yeah, everything had to happen very quickly. We were in the middle of uh, the album recordings. We had to cancel some show, and it was a very chaotic uh, period for us. And uh, uh, not a very nice period either. It's always a uh, line of change. Is uh, is uh, it's always a sad, you know. It's a sad thing, mm -hmm. and we had been yeah. working with her for eight years and everything. And um, so yeah, but um, sometimes these things uh, happen, and you have to to move on when with what you're doing and think forward and uh, try to. Yeah, focus on the positive things and, 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 and get on because all of us, we, we love music very much and um, none of us felt it was correct to, to end Serenia and, and stop doing music and, and we wanted to continue and uh, yeah, we just had to do what we had to do and, and continue. Yeah, it's uh, great <laughs> for us <our> fans, <laughs> we like it. <laughs> Yeah, I hope so too. Yeah, it's uh, it's. Uh, I feel that Serenia have much more to give in the future. So this was too early to, too early for everything to end. I think. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You just mentioned you were uh, producing the album while all this was happening. Um, had you? Uh, it was probably already written. Uh, was it uh, difficult to? Um, to make Emmanuel's voice fit, or uh, on the already written songs, or how did that that go? Yeah, usually I when I compose the songs, I compose it uh, for the singer. Mm -hmm. So naturally, this uh, this album, the songs, was composed for Eileen's voice. Mm -hmm. um, so when uh, Emmanuel uh, got the songs, I sent everything to her so she could sing and check out how it was working with her voice and everything. Mm -hmm. And uh, and later when we started the recordings, we 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 tested out some different ideas and we did some changes to, to make it fit perfect with her voice. Mm -hmm. So um, um, I think it turned out really great and we didn't, we didn't have to do uh, much changes really, but some small details here and there that um, helped making it sound even better. Mm -hmm. So, and it was a nice uh, learning experience. Now I know more of her voice and her qualities. So for the next album, everything will be composed especially for Emmanuel so I think uh, in the future we we will even just make things go better and better I think mm -hmm.
cool. And Emmanuel, how was it for you uh, to you? I mean, you were obviously a fan of the band. Um, how was it for you to uh, suddenly be full time part of the band? It's a very exciting experience for me. I will try to uh, to answer to you uh, the best I can because I don't have a very good English, but uh, I will try. Sounds good. <laughs> so it's a very uh, exciting ex experience for me because I have um, an operatic career. It's mm -hmm. my was my my main main uh, occupation, but I. Um, I made some rock and pop music before. I had some bands. I uh, continue to write music and songs. So for me, uh, this experience is uh, the, uh, the perfect occasion to uh, um, to melt my experience of uh, opera singing and mm -hmm. uh, rock uh, experience. And uh, and I needed it just right at this moment. So it, it's perfect. I'm really happy of that. Cool. Things happen for a reason, right? <laughs> it's cool. Uh, what topics are you dealing with lyrically on this uh, upcoming album? I think it's more, more or less what I'm usually writing about uh, with the lyrics. Uh, no big changes, I think. Uh, but it's you know always trying to, to to see things from a different angle or try to do some something to. Uh, to you know, to take a step further from the previous album and to to bring something new to the way I write the lyrics. But you know, it's I think still the lyrics is very typical Serenia. I think on this album too. So no huge uh, huge surprises Surprise. I think <laughs> lyric wise. But uh, a few few new subjects I'm dealing with on some of the songs and um, some songs are very typical Serenia and. Some songs are maybe a little bit different, but all in all, I think very typical Serenia. Mm -hmm. And musically, is there anything um, that you very different or very new that you have brought to the table? Um, we always try to to renew ourselves, and I think with this album, um, it is really uh, it feels in many ways like a new start for Serenia, and I think mm -hmm. that we we have been able to improve a lot of things on this album uh, the the production and the sound I think is absolutely fantastic it's I'm so happy with the production that it's uh, you know yeah I'm just really curious to see what everybody is thinking of this new album because I think it's uh, as good as Serenia ever has sounded and also Emmanuel's voice have um, brought a lot of new things um, to the table and um, it's a very diverse album. I think there's a lot of variation, um, both with the singing and with the music itself, and a lot of different soundscapes, a lot of different things going on, and uh, and also with the mix, it's helping that so you can really hear all the details. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we had some problems with the, the previous album with the, with the mix, so it it doesn't. It's difficult to hear all the details that is actually there in, in the music. So I'm not in retrospect. I'm not so happy with with the previous album that mm -hmm. you did. But but with this new album, it's um, I'm really like 100% happy with everything. So it's uh, it feels really good. And I'm yeah really curious to see what the fans is going to think about it. And and also the press and media to see the um, the reviews and everything. So it's exciting exciting times in Serenia, I think. Yeah, and we're also really <laughs> looking forward to, to listening to your new music. So cool. Um, we're uh, asking, we've been asking this question uh, to a lot of the other bands that are here at uh, Female Metal Event. What do you feel about the term female fronted metal? Is it something uh, that uh, offends you to be stuck in this uh, box that actually um, encompasses a lot of other genres? Or is it uh, all right? For me, it's totally all right. It's, it's a very general uh, uh, description, uh, in a way. You know, female fronted metal. It, I guess, it just means that you have a female singer to mm -hmm. to put it in a very easy way, and that's true about Serenia. We have a female singer, but in, in also, I think there's uh, a lot more with with Serenia. You know, we also have the choirs, we have mm -hmm. the clean male vocals, we have the growling, we have a lot of different things. So. But female fronted is uh, is okay, but um, I think there's also a lot of more to it than just that. So. Yes, of course, and it's always been like that. I, I mean, you've been um, you've been doing this for a very long time, and uh, I think uh, before female fronted came around, 
uh, every band that would experiment with female voices was uh, gothic. It, yeah, it was not always the case, but uh, it was also, it's kind of, um, I don't know, the, the band, the fans or the media just wanted to give it a name to everything they like, more or less. Yeah, it's, I think it's that for every every musical genre, they, uh, they, they need to, to label uh, the bands or to, to call it something. And, and for me, that's fine. It's, uh, it's to, so everybody that reads about these bands or so they get at least an idea of, of what this band mm -hmm. is, is playing, what kind of style of music it is. But yeah, I was never too, uh, too caught up in this things with if it's if it's this or if it's that if it's gothic metal or female fronted metal or symphonic metal or mm -hmm. or whatever and with Sirenia uh, our concept has all the time been to um, to to put focus on the diversity and to you know mix a lot of different elements from all kinds of musical styles into one yeah. and all the different kinds of vocals and everything mm -hmm. so this is like the um, the main focus in our musical concept and uh, it would be very hard to, to to find a label to that I think because there's just so much different things going on in our music so I think the best advice for people is to to just check it out and, and make make up their own opinion what they think it is <laughs> yeah it's a great uh, note to finish on thank you so much for your time thank yeah, you it's a pleasure